time to dig in here. So what I'm cooking over here today are some beef short ribs. These are one of my favorite quick snacks to cook over fire. Um, super fatty, full of flavor. Only takes two or three minutes per side to uh, cook these to a medium rare. Now I did cook a second plate. These are for Vivi. I'm gonna bring them back to her this evening. So she likes hers a little bit more well done with no barbecue sauce. So hopefully she'll enjoy those later. But I'm gonna dig in and see how this tastes there. Mmm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Not sure if you're able to see this or not, but you guys can check it out. Super tender, medium rare. Absolutely delicious. Wow. So I'm going to dig in, finish off this plate, then I'll give you guys a little tour around camp and let you guys see what I'm up to today. So this has to be one of my favorite times of the season to be over here to the winter camp. First half of April is absolutely beautiful. The wind usually tapers off in the night. We have extended hours, extended daylight. Right now is about 8 p.m. at night and that sun is still pretty high in the sky. Meaning it probably won't get dark here until maybe around 9.30, quarter to 10. Such a beautiful, beautiful evening. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that in the background, but there's just such an ever slight breeze through the trees. I find myself standing a lot out here during this time of the year and just looking around, listening to the birds, trying to just take in the ambience, the scenery. This is so peaceful. And I highly recommend that for anybody that's able to get out into the wilderness, especially during these times, I would highly recommend that you do it and just uh, let all the stress melt away. And I think, especially now, learning survival skills, being comfortable with being alone, spending time in the wilderness away from people, all of those things definitely have their place given these extenuating circumstances that we're all experiencing at the moment. This is probably one of my favorite views of the tent actually right here. Something about this view, just like this, actually right there. I may even make this my thumbnail photo for this video. What do you guys think? So for a lot of you who are new to my channel and that have been asking in the comment section, what kind of snow machine do I use? This here is a 2017 Scantic Wide Track. It's a 900 Ace. Now, if you notice, I have all of my stickers peeled off the snow machine. I'm not really a fan of having a bunch of advertisement on my equipment. So I tend to peel all the stickers and warning labels off, including the names of the, uh, or the brand of the equipment that I use. I think it looks a lot more slick that way. And uh, that's been a fantastic machine. The, mach the uh, snow machine I used previous to that was a 2007 Scantic Wide Track and a 550 Fan Cool. And that is a wonderful machine as well. 
I wasn't too sure about operating a four stroke up here in the territories, given the fact it doesn't have a pull cord on it and I'm entirely reliant upon the battery to start my machine. But so far it's been proven to be good. I do always carry a additional booster pack with me in the event the battery does freeze, um, but that hasn't had to be used yet. So other than that, it's a great machine. It has excellent flotation. You guys see the pogo set up on the front suspension here. I have a uh, skid plate on the bottom and this thing just floats through deep snow. And with the 20 inch wide track on the back, all kinds of traction, no issue with getting stuck in deep snow or pulling heavy loads. It's a fantastic machine. Now I had the two up seat on uh, because Vivian and I are back and forth at the camp on a regular basis. But usually I have that seat off in the back just to free up some additional cargo space so I don't need to be pulling my toboggan with me. But yeah, great machine. If you guys are not familiar with them, I would suggest doing some research. They make excellent machines here for the north or for anywhere for that matter. Especially the Scantic Wide Track is an excellent bush machine. And then of course my big boggin. Uh, I've had this thing now for about 10 years. That's the company who makes it there is Big Boggin by Equinox. Now that's embedded right into the fiberglass, so unfortunately I'm, I'm unable to pull that sticker off. But other than that, yeah, it's a great machine. Super durable, super tough. I've had no issues with the integrity of the fiberglass given the heavy loads I pull back and forth with wood and gear in extreme cold temperatures. So highly recommend it. And it's pretty much a staple of the transportation up here in the Northwest Territories. And that's pretty much it guys. So quick little look around camp, let you see what I'm up to here today. Um, came over, cooked up some wonderful food and just gonna sit back and relax, enjoy the rest of the evening here. And then uh, probably back over here again tomorrow with Vivian. So other than that guys, I do appreciate you coming back, checking out the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, please like and share. And as always stay safe, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.